G'day, Mark here from Tough Touring. Behind me, I've got a Bush Company Alpha rooftop tent. Uh, this is a new model that they've come out with. This does not replace their Black Series tent. This is their big guy tent. It's, uh, well, I don't know if they call it that, but it's a bigger version of the Black Series and it has a few new features as well. Um, but the look and feel of it is very much the Black Series, but bigger. Um, and it has a higher pitch, a much higher pitch, so a lot more internal room. Um, early pics of this tent had four sprung steel poles. You'll note that the actual production model, which I've got in front of me, only has two at the front. Um, the awning is a hell of a lot bigger than what was on the Black Series tent. Um, coverage of that awning over the side windows is, is quite a lot. There's quite a lot of coverage. I think that would be very helpful if you want ventilation through the thing when it's shut in rain. Um, the step over angles here, on the awning, I'm trying to get my head out of it. I'd say possibly 500 millimeters from the from the edge of the awning to the edge of the foot of the tent, at least, maybe a bit more. Um, you'll see there's quite large straps here too to pull the awning down against the sprung steel poles, which really does result in a nice firm uh, cover for something so large. It, it's not gonna have any pooling issues too, if you can see the scooping out of the shape of it. Um, it's going to run off quite well. Um, first look of the tent in terms of finish, uh, it's, it's really nice. It's got um, the latches and things that have, have basically, looks like they've made their own over centre latches. Um, certainly more rugged and very ergonomic and sort of soft on your hands, which is nice. Um, they're just nice, nice things. Beautiful things, laser cut things. Um, this component, which looks like the ladder mounting system, again, just really robust, really simple to use and really soft. You can't catch on it anywhere, which is lovely. They've incorporated, um, interestingly enough, um, basically mounting points into the sides of the tent, which is, un I don't know that anyone else has done that. Um, um, very, very handy. I'm not sure. I think the front, this top one might just be for the mounting of this, the um, outside gas struts, but uh, I'm not sure if there's accessories that go with it for that componentry, or maybe it's for another awning in the future. Who knows? Um, but they've left them on the bottom in two places, and I'm dead sure that that's going to be handy for some of you to hang awnings. Quite unique. Now, they've also continued with their winning system, which is... Uh, basically bolts into the base so you can extend uh, roof rack feet straight to this tent. It's basically already like a roof rack in that you can sit it on gutted vehicles with very little fitting. Um, the extruded base of it is incredibly firm. I'm not sure if it's a honeycomb, but it feels like it. Uh, it's carpeted all inside. I'll show you inside. Um, it also features a lot of their utilities pouches for storage, as well as Anderson plugs, twin Andersons, uh, four six sockets, uh, one light that I can see, there might be another one somewhere, uh, and pockets and storage space everywhere. I'll step back a bit so you can see it. Uh, yeah, now, they've done a lot around making this tent um, suitable for taller people as well. Uh, I got in this a minute ago, and the roof pitch is, is incredibly high. Very similar to probably an alley cab or a camp king, if you can see it there. Uh, it's a much higher pitch than their older model, or the other model, the Black Series, which is a slightly smaller tent. Um, they have maintained their roof load limits, which we don't know this one yet very well, but we know that the Black Series over here has an enormous roof uh, load carrying ability. So very excited about, about that. They've maintained quite a very heavy duty, strong roof, checker plate protected and so on. Awning is removable. We've got clips here, bolt rope set up at the front. Uh, the whole canvas body of the tent is actually removable. It's got Velcro all the way around the top. Um, I note that they've incorporated air vents here in the top of the doorway to increase airflow, which is again, really great idea and welcomed. Um, other points that are pretty cool. 
would be an unusual. The doorways um, are all triple layered. Uh, I've not seen this before. I don't know what it's for, um, but I was really pleasantly surprised to find that all of the lockdown straps like these are actually bungee, a really strong bungee. Um, a lot of them don't have any give and when you try and clip them up, you've kind of got to roll things again and get them tight. This is not an issue with this tent. It's just, it's actually delightful to roll things up. They all sort of fit away. It's a little pleasure. pleasure. Um, now, as for the layering, there's an internal, an internal wall, which you could zip up or zip down or set your window height to. Then you've got a fly screen layer, which is a finer mesh than in previous tents by Bushco. That looks like a midge proof mesh. I'm going to say it is. It's a very, very fine mesh. Um, and then there's a, a third layer, which would prevent the mesh getting wet as well, which you can drop down. Um, also, another nice thing is that all the zippers roll straight into the bottom and then the base itself velcros so that you don't have to go around corners with your zips. Oh, sorry, camera. The base of it velcros, so straight up zippers, very easy to locate and no going around corners, which can be difficult in the dark. Um, rubber seals all around it look to be top grade automotive. Um, the extrusions themselves look very strong. I picked the tent up. I haven't seen the specs on what it weighs, but it feels light. Light, uh, maybe an 80 kilos would be my guess. I don't know though. Um, so certainly look at the specs through the Bushco website for that, but it, for its size, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, look, I'm um, quite excited about this one and it'll, um, it'll get a good running through in another video shortly. I, I'm gonna get it on a, um, on a truck and, and use it in uh, probably my next trip where we've got um, four people and a dog and no trailer. So we're really gonna need that roof storage. Anyway, hope you like the video. It's just an early look at this tent. Um, quite exciting developments from Bushco. Cheers, bye.